Hey there everybody, it's the Nasty One here again, and well, it's that time of year again. Over on 10 Gauge, it's finale night for INN Survivor. INN Survivor Egypt, which is season 2 of our series, is coming to an end tonight with the finale episode for the final five competitors will still have a chance to compete for the title of Soul Survivor. Approximately 18 days ago, 16 contestants began the journey of a lifetime deep in the Egyptian desert. Fourteen of these contestants were newbies and didn't and were originally thought to be the only competitors. Uh, it was later revealed when they arrived for their first challenge that two returners from Season 1 were given a second chance to come back and be team captains this year. These two contestants that returned were Pika, who was a member of the Airwalks Minority Alliance in Season 1, and Sam, who was a member of the Majority Two-Piece Alliance in Season 1 but was blindsided near the end of the game. These two competitors ended up picking our tribes with the tribe picked by Pika, being named the Sphinx Tribe, wearing gold buffs. Uh, those members included Pika himself, Colby, Emmett, Harry B, Nathan, Brandon, Tiffany, and Jordan. While over on the Giza Tribe, Sam's Tribe was wearing blue buffs, and they, the members included Sam, Jay, Harry W, Swagger, Megan, Natasha, Coyle, and Mikey. And then, after the tribes were picked, the two tribes immediately competed in their first immunity challenge, which was the Pass the Taurus Relay Race, which uh, Pika's tribe won, which guaranteed that his tribe wouldn't start off with a losing streak this year. And afterwards, Swagger was the first person voted out in a 6-2 vote. Following that, uh, before the second immunity challenge began, Jordan was evacuated from the game due to his failure to show up to any of the events regarding the season, which includes not only joining the group, but also showing up for the premiere episode, the first immunity challenge, and the second immunity challenges. So for his lack of days of latitude, we decided to kick him from the game. Following that, Pika's tribe, the Sphinx tribe, ended up going on a three-challenge uh, three losing streak, and they ended up losing Emmett, Tiffany, actually no, I'm sorry, that's just a two, that was just a two-challenge losing streak. They ended up losing Emmett and Tiffany, and then or during episode 4, a tribe swap occurred. Suddenly, in the minority, Nathan was eliminated when the new Giza tribe lost, and they decided to eliminate the minority Sphinx members, leaving Pika as the only Sphinx member remaining on Giza. Before the fifth immunity challenge, it was revealed that Harry B. had decided to walk from the game because he was going to be busy in real life and would be unable to compete in any further challenges. Because of this, the merge occurred that night, and the remaining 11 contestants merged into a into the Black Tribe. Uh, unfortunately for them, they did not know that the four people they had a hand in voting out, who were still active, were coming back into the game. And at the Prompt to Immunity Challenge, four members of the merged tribe competed against Swagger, Tiffany, Emmett, and Nathan to determine if one of those four would return to the game. The Merge 4, which consisted of Harry W., Megan, Pika, and Colby, lost the challenge, which allowed one of the Mummy members to come back into the game. Uh, at the Impromptu Tribal Council, Harry W. was eliminated for his constant scheming as well as villainous personality. At the Mummy Tribal Council, Nathan and Tiffany both promised that they would vote for each other to come back into the game, but due to not trusting each other, they both ended up throwing their votes towards the same person. And when that person was revealed to be Swagger, who was voted back in unanimously in a 3-1 to one vote, giving him automatic immunity at the next uh, challenge. At said challenge, uh, Cole won the challenge with the flag-making ability, so he not only did he make the tribe flag, he also named the tribe in the previous episode beforehand, Cleopatra. At the tribal that night, the Giza members all banded together and decided to eliminate Colby as he was the strongest remaining Sphinx member left in the game, making him the first member of our jury. Following that, it appeared that the Sphinx members would get picked off one by one, leaving the remaining eight, seven, to battle it out of the Giza members. However, that was not to be the case as Natasha was blindsided in a five to four vote due to her lack of days school approach to the game and the fact that she didn't really care if she won or not. Following that, it looked like Swagger's time had finally come when he decided to show everybody the alliances that he knew about during the game and posting it in the public forum for everybody to read. Uh, let's just say he was made public enemy number one. However, in a shocking reveal, he managed to flip somebody to his side and caused a 4-4 tie. In the revote, the vote was still tied at 3-3, which led to the first ever rock draw in INN Survivor history. 
the unfortunate recipient of said purple rock was Jay, which automatically eliminated him from the game. Following that, Cole was, unanimous, was almost unanimously blindsided because he was such a nice person, and they really thought that he would get a lot of jury votes moving forward at the end of the game. Following that, Pika's time unfortunately came to an end as he was one of the two remaining Sphinx members left in the game, and the Giza members were like, we're tired of voting each other off, we need to eliminate one of them, and they chose Pika because he was the stronger of the two remaining. And with that, we come to our final five participants who will be competing tonight to see who will become the sole survivor. The five are Brandon, the last remaining Sphinx member from the beginning of the game. He has been seen as a more of a follower this season. He hasn't really done a whole lot on his own, or most of it, if he has done anything, is behind the scenes. Will his luck continue to ride and him make it to the final Tribal Council, or will the Giza members vote him out to assure an all-Giza finale? Following that, we got Sam, the lone remaining returner left in the game. Coming into this game, he had a huge target on his back for being a returner, but he managed to work his way into the majority line successfully like he did in Season 1 and has been the recipient of making the blindside moves at the past couple of Tribal Councils. Will his luck and dominance at the immunity challenges carry him to the end? Following that, we got Mikey. Mikey has been seen as the Giza member who has been behind the scenes the most. He hasn't really spoken out much and has played a very quiet game to not draw attention to himself. Will this strategy continue to work, or will the Giza members blindside him because they think he's too much of a heroic character? Moving on, we got Megan. Megan is the last remaining female member of the game, and she has also been playing a very quiet game alongside Mikey. The two of them have worked in close uh, parameters with each other in past votes. And they both have the same strategy of stay under the radar and let other people take the bullet. Will her strategy work out and lead her to the end? At last remaining member, we got Swagger. Originally the first person voted out of the game, he worked his way back through the mummy twist and has been in the minority the entire time he's been in the merge. However, he has successfully managed to dodge bullet after bullet that has been aimed for him and has gotten ev other people eliminated, or in some cases gotten people to flip to his side to avoid elimination. Will his luck hold out, or will the Giza members finally get rid of him? So come and watch tonight at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time over on Tengage. The link for the group will be posted in the uh, video description below. I hope to see you all there, and good luck, guys. Once again, this is The Nasty One, signing off.